Hello, Carrie here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make ordinary books that were destined for the landfill and turn them into art journals. Um, I've already cut out the middle of this one and I've got to show you how I do it in the smaller one. It's a lovely bright cheerful yellow on the outside. I don't know whether to use that cover for something. I'll just put it in the uh, paper pile. So with a knife I need to cut along the side of the spine very carefully there right it's, it's a bit difficult you have to be really careful for the knife not to go through to the wrong side or cut yourself so I just start off gently and I'm slightly pulling it apart as I go along so I can see where it's going so with my fingers I'm spreading it apart that makes it a lot easier so I just glide the knife down very gently Sometimes they just tear out if the paper's soft enough with old books. So I'm just going to go in there. That's it, that's one side done. And the second side is a lot easier because you've got less, um, less in the way. So it's just very easy to slip the knife down there. I managed not to cut myself doing this, that's something. So there we go, along there. Takes a bit of patience and fiddling, but you get there in the end. There we go. So I can use that for gluing or um, other things later, the inside. Right, so uh, now I think it looks rather unexciting now, doesn't it? It looks rather tatty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the inside. So I go through my paper stash and I found uh, this pad. And I quite like the purple against the yellow, um, you know what it's like, so that's quite nice. That's a bit boring, not that one, well that would go, that I quite fancy, not that one, that one I quite fancy. Although there's a bit taken off the top there, I can, yeah, I can get a, I can get enough out of that. So I just need to cut that to size and glue it down. I'm using three in one glue for this. Here I'm paying attention to make sure the paper goes into the dip in the centre there. That's it, that's lovely. And I've done the same on the larger book, but in this case I've just done the centre spine area. And now I'm preparing the papers for the signatures to go inside. In the brown book I can fit two signatures in, and in the yellow book I can fit three. So I've just uh, folded them in half and I'll be cutting them side to size shortly.
And here I am sorting them out into their signatures. So it's two signatures. And I'm trying to make sure I get a good mixture of plain and patterned throughout the uh, book. There, that'll fit nicely. So now I need to uh, just tidy them up and make sure that they're centralised. The smaller pages need to be able to caught, be caught with the sewing. And here I am, ready to do the sewing, the difficult bit. So to start, I get a piece of paper and I draw where I would like the uh, line of the centre of the signature to go. And I've done some intersecting lines and marked dots. And I'm doing four, two at the top and two at the bottom for each signature. I'm just poking it through the back to make it a bit easier when I get to the sewing part. Make sure the hole is large enough. There we go, that's done. So I can take that um, piece of paper off to the template and I can use that again when I do the signatures. So to make it easier for myself, I've just uh, drawn a line in the center. I didn't really need to do that because I could have just used um, one of the other lines but as the template, but I'm just doing it because oh, it just seems easier for my mind. <laughs> it's just the way I think. So now I just need to pop the template in the center of the sign each signature and then poke the corresponding holes through. And now I'm ready to do the sewing. I've got some embroidery thread. I've got it, uh, I've cut it to about three times the length of the book. And that gives me more than enough to sew the signatures in. So I'm going through the top hole. It's a bit of a struggle, bit of a struggle. The needle's a little bit too large for this. Then I go through back through this, the next second hole and then back through the signature. Bit of a bit of a wrestling match, and that uh, outer piece keeps on wanting to escape, but I'm not letting it. I want it there. Right, sorry about this struggle. There we go. That goes. I pull that tight. It makes it a bit tight. I get a right old tangle there. Right, it does get easier. <laughs> there we go. And then oops, pull that through. I need to go run the thread down the centre. I come out of the third hole, just lining everything up there. No, oh, it's a bit tough. It's a bit tough. And back through that hole. <laughs> so difficult. There we go, it's looking better now. And then through the final hole. That's it. Pull it very tight and then tie a knot. Knots. I have a bit of a struggle with that. Tie two, two strong knots, keeping it taut as I go. There we go, tighten it up a bit, and then a third knot, and then I snip that off. And I just need to repeat that for the second signature. Here's the second one, it's going to go in there. Look, it's looking nice, it's looking book like, isn't it? So back to the template again 
and I've sped this up because you've seen me do this already once. And here it is, the completed book. I just love it. All these different pages to work in, different sizes, different textures, different colors. Oh, it's gonna be such fun. That was so easy and it cost me nothing because I had all the papers on hand. Um, and I've done the same in my yellow book, except I put three signatures in this one because it's um, a wider book. And here we go, oops, flip it up the wrong way around. There we go, look at all these lovely pages. So lovely. I'm gonna so enjoy working in these. It's a little bit of vellum there. Love it. Bit of parchment, all these gorgeous pages. Love it. So that's two books of these that I've prepared. So that's these two. Just think they look great and they'll be nice and chunky once I get working in them and now for the other book I've got a third book which I'm going to do by not taking out the pages I'm going to take out some of the pages um, to because if it's too thick then it won't be able to cope with all the work I'm going to do in it with collaging and painting the bulk just gets too much so I find the center of each signature there's several signatures in this book and you can tell you at the center because you can see the stitching there and I pull out several pages and I do that throughout the book So there we have it. It's a lot thinner now at the end, so as I fill it up with work, the spine will be able to cope with it and it won't break. My next video, I'm going to show you how I prepare the altered book. Here's the other two, as the spines, I think I forgot to show you those. I just think that looks nice and neat. I could cover the covers if I wanted, but I probably won't, I'll just decorate them. Love the inside of that. I could also do something on the inside of this one, but that'll be in the next video when I show you how I prepare this altered book. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you for watching. Bye.